Thy Kingdom Come, 2020. Our reflection for Friday the 29th of May is on freedom with God. And so we pray, first of all, for the Holy Spirit to come to us and transform us. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God and fellow heirs with Christ. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people. Renew the face of your creation, Lord, pouring on us the gifts of your Spirit and kindle in us the fire of your love. For the creation waits with eager longing for the glorious liberty of the children of God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. Jesus said to Peter, Feed my sheep. Truly, truly, I say to you, when you were young, you used to dress yourself and walk wherever you wanted. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and another will dress you and carry you where you do not want to go. This he said to show by what kind of death he was to glorify God. And after saying this, he said to him, follow me. It is usually assumed in our consumer world that the more choices one has, the freer one is. If one can choose between ten sorts of beer, then one is freer than the one who had just two brands. But when one has grown into that deeper freedom which is spontaneity, it may become the other way around. There are just a few deep and fundamental choices to make, and these are concerned with becoming free and happy in God. There is one single long-term goal which shapes one's life and gives it cohesion. So one has to opt for certain choices because they are simply part of being oneself. Today we pray that we may be witnesses to the freedom that Christ brings when we follow him. Come Holy Spirit come and from your celestial home shed a ray of light divine. Come Father of the poor, come source of all our store, come within our bosom shine. You of all comforters best, you the soul's most welcome guest, sweet refreshment here below. Give us virtue's sure reward, give us your salvation, Lord, give us joys that never end. Amen. Alleluia. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you.